Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Nitro 5 laptop. This one is a series AN515-41 series. The base model is an N71, N17C1. And in this video I'm going to cover on how you can open it up, how you can replace the battery. This applies for any Nitro 5, doesn't matter, it's an AMD or Intel version, they're all the same pretty much. Uh, it's really easy, fast and forward to do it. You can do this under a few minutes. I'm gonna go over it really quickly. All you need to do is to power off the laptop. You wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys that I fix the screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit. That means they will last you many years. And we're gonna grab our, if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, Grab yourself a guitar pick, a metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Now on the bottom cover here, we're gonna remove all the screws that we see in the middle, on the covers, on the back. If yours has a little rubber legs in here, you have to remove these rubber legs, small ones, not this one, the small ones here. So remove all the screws that you see on the bottom cover, all of them, and keep them in one pile because they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you find my videos useful and helping you guys out through your own upgrade, repays, or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and support. Like and subscribe are greatly appreciated. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. There's a huge amount of screws in here. We're gonna remove all of them. Once you remove all of them, you want to remove the hard drive cover which is in here, put the screwdriver right underneath and lift it up. You want to remove the four screws that holds the caddy. The caddy is a metal bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So remove the four tiny screws and keep them in a different pile. Once you remove the four screws, you want to lift up the hard drive gently. Don't pull it out too much. Disconnect the adapter right through here. And now double check, make sure you haven't missed any screw. What you want to do, you want to open up the laptop a little bit, about 45 degree angle. You want to stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And you just want to twist it like this. Do this every few centimeters. Go all around. Go all the way to the back corner. Do the left and the right side. Once you did those, now you want to close up the screen. Lift it up, wiggle it around, and bring it towards the back, and it will release itself from the bottom cover. Now, the battery is going to be right in front of you. It's a humongous battery. Mm, the battery rating is at, I don't know why it says two rating. One is at 15.2, and the other one is at 17.2. I think this is the charge rate and the use, use rate. It's a 48 watt an hour battery. To remove the battery, you wanna remove this tape right here, it's a gaffer's tape. You wanna remove the screws on the side of the battery. These are a Phillips zero. So remove the tiny screw on this side and remove the screw on the left and the right side of the battery. And the battery should come up. Before we remove it, we're going to disconnect it. Put your two fingernails at the side of the jack and pull it back evenly. And there's your battery. That's how you can remove it. The model for this battery is right over here. It's an AC14B8K. So I'll try to get the link for the new battery and I'll put it in the description. This is the BIOS battery. If you want to replace your BIOS battery, this is the one right over here. Just pull it out. Just replace it, it's a 2032 CR battery with a cable. So let's say you got the new battery in, you wanna put the back end of the battery right under the palm rest, right there, and then bring it down, and then put the two screws for the battery, one on each side, right there. And then, this is very important, you wanna make sure you evenly bring the connector towards the jack, evenly, and squeeze it, and pinch them together, Make sure it goes in there evenly. The cap on tape is unnecessary to put, but go ahead and put it. 
And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over in the right cor correct position, push down the side, make sure you hear those big click sound. Those are the clips that are getting hooked in. Grab the hard drive, put the connector right through, uh, set it down, put the four screws on the caddy. And the last thing would be to just grab the rest of the screws on the bottom cover and place it on top. It is very important how you're gonna do your first charge and discharge, it's really, really important. I suggest you to follow this step. Once you got the new battery in there, you do not wanna power on the laptop right away. You wanna leave it in an off mode, connect the charger and set it there for charging for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours, you wanna power it on without the charger plugged in and you want to drain the battery slowly do not put any games or anything like that you want to just normal use drain the battery slowly once the battery is drained you want to power up and again in an off mode you want to leave it for charging five to six hours and after that you can use it as you wish for better result i recommend you to do uh, twice charge and charge and discharge at the beginning and then use it as you wish but with the one charge and discharge it should be fine. Again, I hope you guys like this video. I helped you guys out to do your own battery replacement for your Acer Nitro 5 laptop. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.